In this tutorial, I'll talk about content indexing in Edge delivery services. In general, index content is easily searchable and available over different search engines, but it has additional advantage in context of Edge delivery services because it provides the base to implement search and sitemap in Edge delivery services website. So I'll cover both in coming tutorials. So as part of this tutorial, I'll talk about indexing. We'll see how to set up indexing in Edge delivery services, and then we'll have a demo. I'll, I'll show you how to set up indexing. So in Franklin or Edge delivery services, you can index entire site, or you can index a specific section of your website, or you can add what kind of properties you want to index from a page you can index a particular section from a page as well. So in general, using indexing, you can build list feeds, you can enable search and you can implement different use cases that we'll see in coming tutorials. So we can implement indexing in edge delivery services in two ways. One is default way when you don't need any configurations, means you do not need to write any code or any configuration file. Another one is custom indexing. When you, if you want to add your specific properties, then you need to add a specific configuration file in your code base in Git repo. We'll see both. So as part of this tutorial, I'll cover the first one, which is the default means where you don't need to write or create any configuration file, whatever you need to do that you need to make changes only in content in content repository means either in Google Drive or SharePoint. You need to implement these steps to set up indexing. First, you have to create a file, either a workbook or spreadsheet based on either you are using SharePoint or Google Drive. Name should be specific, query hyphen index. And you have to create this in the root of your folder, means that folder uh, of repo means whatever you are using, it should be in root. Then you have to create a let's for example, I'm using Google Drive. So in spreadsheet, you have to create a sheet called row hyphen index. Now you have to add the name of properties in header means name of the properties in each column in first row. First column is mandatory. You have to add a property called path means you have to add a header called path. This is mandatory. Rest of the properties, you can add whatever you need based on your requirement. Now, these are the basic properties which you can add, but it's these are not limited. You can add others as well. Now, these properties must be available in your head in meta tag. So each property should be available in one meta tag in your header. One exception, last modified, last modified value should be available in response header. Along with these properties, you can add any number of other properties, but those should present in, in a specific meta tag in header, right? Now let's go to demo and let me show you how you can set up these. Now move to the parent folder of your website means root of your website. In this root, you have to create a file called query hyphen index as I have already explained. In this, you must have one column called path. Okay, that is must you must have this is mandatory. Now, once you have it, let's publish this. So once you publish the file, now you have to publish your pages again, it content will only index once you publish not preview. So you have to publish pages. So now let me publish this home page. Okay. Uh, preview. First, let's preview. And publish. 
so it may take some time sometimes it takes few minutes or sometimes the content is instantly available based on how many properties you have and how much content you are indexing so generally in two to three minutes you would see the content in this file now you would see after publish you will see the path path has been added of path of your page not of document okay and one more column has been added last modified so last modified is added by itself you don't see any other properties even i have metadata let me open this and let's let me show you the meta tag okay head and the number of meta properties are available meta tag property key value pair nothing has been added so you have to add the properties what you want here okay let me add few properties here in file keep in mind if you make any change in this file means query hyphen index you have to publish this file again so now you would see i added all the default properties along with default i added theme as well theme is not default property okay but it is available in my meta tag so if you see the default properties and additional property available theme so along with this default theme you can add any along with default properties you can add any number of other properties so you would see a difference here title let me publish this then you would understand better so publish this again okay you have to publish this file so as soon as you publish this file you would be able to see these properties along with old content okay along with old index content you see this row it is a old when i published earlier before adding these properties but you would see these properties here i will come back again to this file okay now let me republish this it's always better to change something before publish if you keep publishing same content so it's a possibility it won't index again it may be or may not it may take some time important part is it may take some time so make some changes and then publish to see it quickly let me publish same page quickly you have to publish remember not preview it would only index once you publish content so after some time one or two minutes you would see the content has been updated you see the same row has been updated it did not create new row okay so it has been added title description image and let me show you this in a proper way so if you publish when you publish this you will have a url for this you see this url and if i refresh now you see content here in form of json okay you can format this but it always better if you want to see in tabular format open your sidekick open sidekick if you open that sidekick so you will able to see in tabular format in proper format visible formats in table so you would see here this has been added description has been added and this information is not available so this information is empty but the important thing is you see i added title here okay title description image but if you see come back and meta tag let me close this uh, meta head you see the title is not available the title is og title og description og image right or twitter title so by default that's why we call these default properties so this title if you add title this title would be available here you see the title this one this description this image okay and for non default properties which could be anything those will be picked by name so if you see theme i added theme here and theme here let me open this again so i ah see this this theme it is a dark theme okay so you can add any number of properties which is available in meta tag except one exception which is the last modified last modified always comes 
from the response header. Now, let me publish few more pages and then we'll see how you can unpublish or unindex content. Now, so you see four pages. I published four pages. One more important thing, this image, okay? This image comes if you have that image in meta tag, okay? I have already explained meta tag. Please go back and check this tutorial. So either the image is present on meta tag or the first image on your page, or there must be a default image. So I did not add a default image. That's why you see only the path here. Now, the content has been indexed. Now, what if I want to unindex or de-index this con uh, you know, page? So what you have to do, you have to unpublish. Now, let's say this one. Now I should see unpublished page, which I don't see why. You must know this because I have already explained. So this page shouldn't be available means this content shouldn't be available in directory then only you would see those buttons so what i'll do i just rename it because the name of published document is sections so let me rename it so now the sections names document is not available so here now when i refresh i should see unpublished and a delete button let me do it and if i open let me refresh it one more time. Okay, I'm checking on the wrong the wrong place, wrong location, because the button, button should be available on page because document is available. So you have to go the page, previous page, which was published, you see the sections. On this, this, uh, this delete and unpublished buttons are available. Then what should happen? Okay, the path is sections and, and in our files, there is a sections here, okay? Once I unpublish this page, this should remove from my query index file. I Means this should unindex. Okay. Now let me unpublish this. I hope you know what is the difference between unpublish and delete. If you do not, please go back and check the tutorial. I have already explained that in detail. So I have unpublished this page. So now if you see this has been removed, be careful. This page itself could be cached. So be careful, either add the query parameters or open this file to be double sure like this, this, this content has been updated, mean index content has been updated. So that's the way how you can index page without writing any custom configuration or without writing any code. I took a lot of time to explain this because that is very important for the optimization of your website. Now, all good, but now there are two questions here, okay? One is, let's say I want to index a particular section of a page. Sections means I have an entire page. From that page, I have a section. I want to index that a particular section in a different property. So how you can do that? Another thing is you have few other properties in response header and you want to index that value of that header as well as we did for the last modifier, just for the learning. How you can achieve these two scenarios using this default indexing method or you have to implement something else. So we'll see that in detail in coming tutorial. I hope you understood. If you have any question, add your comment. Thank you.